At London Financial Studies, we focus exclusively on capital markets. Our programmes offer practical learning to professionals from all over the world. I want to start by asking the question, who wants to trade volatility? There are basically three sorts of people who want to trade volatility. There are those people who are traders of derivative contracts. They could be people who are trading listed options and market making listed options. Why do people buy options? In particular, why do they buy call options? And the classic example that, or the classic response that I get from So what would be the next step in terms of trading volatility? The next thing that people tried doing when they were looking to try and trade volatility is to use a straddle. This is to buy a call option and a put option at the same strike. And if I take those call and those put options and I strike them to be at the money, at initiation, this and for that purpose, the contract called a variance swap was introduced. It looks rather, I've, I've put at the top of this slide the payoff of this variance swap. It looks fairly messy, but actually it's really quite simple. One side of this contract pays out this amount here. And this amount is just the realized variance on an underlying over a given period of time. So I agree with my counterparty up front that we will have. So the forward is set as the risk neutral expectation of the gold price. Well, exactly the same thing happens for a variance swap. It's just a forward. It's just a forward like any other forward. A forward on the FTSE, a forward on gold, a forward on interest rates, a forward on oil, a forward on a foreign exchange. So the fair strike of the variance swap is set so that the fair strike is equal. And if I differentiate that with respect to spot to try and find out its exposure, its delta, I get this expression here. So what have I done in these bottom charts? I've plotted what that delta. So for sticky strike, at the money volatility has a sensitivity to spot because it moves when spots move. And if I believe that result from Emmanuel Derman, that the fair strike of a variance swap should be like the... Is there a market impact from the delta hedging of variance swaps? This is, in fact, quite a difficult question to answer. If I go back to the slide showing the discretization of delta, on the right-hand side of that chart is a picture.